Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to create your very first category using Magento Community Edition. So as you can see, the categories on the site are sort of how you can think of the navigation. Uh, the, the categories appear up top here in the navigation by default, and um, so far we have furniture, electronics, and apparel, which are the ones that came with the sample data. Uh, below in a sub category of furniture, we have living room and bedroom. Under electronics, we have cell phones, cameras, computers that each have their own subcategories as well. And then apparel that has some subcategories as well. So we're going to create a couple of new categories. We're going to create a root one and then we'll create a subcategory just so you can see how that's going. So uh, let's go to our dashboard. And if you remember, if you need help getting there, it's just your URL slash admin, and then you can log in with your information. It'll take you here, right here to your admin panel. So we're going to click on catalog and then manage categories. Okay, so we're going to add a root category. So we'll click add root category. And this is going to bring up this information. We're going to just call this. Uh, you could name it or whatever you'd like based on what your store is. We're just going to call this right now. Uh, level up products okay so this can be any sort of category actually uh, we'll actually we'll name this tutorials because that'll be a little bit more fitting let's say we're selling tutorials here and you could just say um, digital uh, digital tutorial videos and yeah okay mistype okay so this description this can show up on the page uh, if you'd like it to. Um, I'm just going to keep this short and simple right now. We can always come back to this once we see how this works. Page title. Uh, this is just going to be, I'll leave it as tutorials because that's what I would like it to be. And then we're not going to upload an image for this one just yet. We'll do that in a second. I'll show you how that works. And a thumbnail image. Nope, not right now. And then we don't have to follow these meta keywords. Uh, we can always come back and do that later. It's not something that's really important. Uh, specifically for this. Uh, is it active? Yes, it's active. You want to make sure that you select this checkbox here or else it's not going to show up. This is a nice way of hiding and showing uh, categories without deleting them. Um, let's say one of the categories on your site, you know, you're no longer selling those products, so maybe uh, you don't want to delete it, you just want to take it offline for a little bit. That's a good way to do that. And then you can actually say not to include in the navigation, but we want it to show up, so we will. And then you don't have to put anything in this for this URL key. It's going to generate automatically if you don't. And it's probably just going to name it lowercase tutorials. Uh, and that's perfectly fine with me. So I'm going to leave it like that. So let's click under this display settings tab. Under here, uh, it's going to display products only. Uh, it's asking if I want to display a CMS block. I don't. Um, is it anchor? Nope. I don't want to do anything really special here. Um, I just want to display the products and that's it. Okay, so custom design. No, we don't have a custom design for this category. We'll get over to that in the more advanced tutorials, but for right now, you don't have to worry about this because we're just going to let it use the same design that the other categories are having. And then the products, this is an easy way to add products into your category. Since we don't have any tutorial products, let's just add our computer and then a gaming computer, and let's see, what else? We'll just add a couple of stuff here. We can take these off later once we actually have tutorials in our catalog. But uh, since we don't, you know, no biggie. We'll just add these here just so you can see it in action. And let's save this category. Now that we've saved it, you can see that it actually appears under our root category. Um, uh, right here, root catalog, whatever. If you're not happy with this position, we actually want it to be under this root catalog. Uh, it was my mistake actually. By clicking this root category button, you're creating a, an actual root here at the very base. So to get this to be exactly where we want it to be, we actually have to have this under our root catalog. If you would have selected add subcategory from the first, uh, it would have worked. However, we're not. all hope is not lost here. We're not losing this information. You can actually click and drag, and we can put this right up here under, uh, right underneath apparel. Not over, because if we uh, like add it on top of it, it's going to make it into the folder, a subcategory. As you can see, it's sort of doing that now. Uh, let's pull it out of here and let's put it right here below. So it's really nice and easy. You can just drag and drop it, whatever, and it's going to uh, 
uh, take that into effect and okay let's just click save again I actually don't know if you have to click save but it's never hurts so let's refresh this page and as you can see our catalog is now showing up in the main navigation our category that is is now showing up in our main navigation here it is tutorials if we give this a click it's going to show the products that we added to it here's our four products it's using the same basic layout if we would have added an image it would have popped up up here okay well let's add a subcategory of this now and then we'll put an image on that one just for fun um, okay okay so uh, to add a new subcategory we're just gonna go ahead and click on tutorials here which is the what we want the parent to be so then after we've selected tutorials we can click add subcategory and we're gonna name this uh, let's see magento tutorials cool and then I'm gonna pick an image here it's just a screenshot uh, nothing crazy okay save that and then the only thing that's really uh, that you have to select is name is active which yes we want it to be and whether or not you want to include it in your navigation menu which we do uh, we don't have any custom designs or anything so we'll just click save and if you notice it's automatically added this magento tutorials underneath our parent tutorials and if we wanted to move this uh, to anywhere it's as simple as dragging and dropping uh, so let's check out our, our page here. So let's check out our page here. So if you'll notice here, we now have underneath tutorials, Magento tutorials subcategory. Under shop by, it's automatically added this to this menu. And it even tells you how many products we have under Magento tutorials, which at this point we selected zero, so there is none. Let's navigate to this Magento tutorial so you can see how the page layout worked with the image. It's the same image, uh, or it's the same layout, but since this image is huge, um, obviously this may not have been a great choice for an image, but it shows up right here, and then your products show up below it. So you're gonna wanna pick an image that fits the space adequately to what you want it to be. Of course, we didn't do that here. Uh, this looks awesome, but uh, just so you know, this image just comes in right underneath the title and right above your products by default. Of course, once we get into template editing, you'll be able to change all that stuff and make your own templates and layouts. But right now, uh, that's pretty much the layout that you're given with Magento. So that's how you create a category and a subcategory. In the next couple of tutorials, we're going to be going over attributes. After we create our own attributes, we can create our new product types, which are Magento tutorials. Or we're just going to treat these as physical products, and then maybe we'll make some digital products along the way too to show you how that works. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching. Bye.